hello and welcome to my channel it's ijama fab today so today i'll be showing you how to fix a two-sided elastic band on your skirt waist so to achieve that you'll be needing your elastic band and your waistband so before you can attach an elastic band to your skirt waist you would need to add some allowances to your original waist measurement so you could use the hip circumference on the waist if the hip is the biggest circumference so for this person her hip is 36 inches and the circumference of her waist is 26 and a half so i'll be subtracting two inches from the hip circumference that will give me 34 inches so 34 inches is going to be my new waist circumference so for the elastic band i have five inches cut out here because i'm working with a waist of 26 inches so if you're working with a bigger waist you have to use six inches or seven inches so for the waistband if you want to make use of a hook and eye you're going to be adding two and a half to three inches to whatever measurement you get on the waist so half inch will be used on both sides to close the ends of the band and whatever is remaining will be used for the hook and eye so if you're not going to make use of a hook and eye you're just going to measure what you have on your waist and add one inch to it before you cut the waistband so the one inch is going to be used to close the ends of the band half inch on one end and half inch on the other end so i have my band here which is 35 inches like i said before i'm making use of 34 inches for the waist circumference and i added one inch which i'm going to use to close the ends of the band i went ahead to add an interfacing all through and after that i folded into two equal parts and gave it a good press so after giving it a press i folded half inch inwards so this is the half inch which i folded inwards so this is how the band is going to be so for this end i'll be attaching this end to the skirt so before i fix the band i just want to explain how to achieve this on the skirt so this is supposed to be fixed on the waistband but i want to explain further so you're just going to pick up your skirts i'm working with the pieces skirts this is the front panel and this is the back panel so I'm going to come to this line here. So let me just zoom it so you could see better. So I'm going to come to this line here, close to the seam line. I'm going to go away from this line by one inch. So I'm going to place my elastic band here, away from this line. So this, if this is a dart you're working with, you're going to go one inch away from the dart. So I'm just going to pin it down here. Now, this is the seam line. This is the side. This is the side seam. I'm going to take this to the back. So you're going to go close to the next dart. So if this is a pencil skirt or a straight skirt whatever skirt you're working with you just go close to the next dart so because this is a PC skirt i'll be going to the next line the next dart line so i'm going to stop one inch before this dart line just like this and i'll pin it also so this is how it's going to be so let me explain again Oh, this is the front panel this is the seam line this is the side this is the back panel now i'm going to go one inch away from this line which is supposed to be my dart line and i'll pin down my elastic band now this is the side and i'll go behind to the next dart line this is the next dart line instead of stopping at this dart line so i'm going to stop one inch before the dart line so my elastic band is going to go this way one inch before the dart line so please i hope we understand i'll be doing this on the waistband so we understand better so i have my skirt here now this is the front panel and this is the back so i'm going to pick up the band so this is the band now i'm going to start from the zipper allowance so from the back of the skirt you're going to place this band this way half inch away from this you're just going to come out about half inch like this so this is going to go like this 
all round so I'm just going to sew this all round so after attaching the band on the skirt with the next thing to do is to close up the end of the band so I'm going to pick this end like this fold into two this way so I'm going to close up this side so I'm going to sew it up with the allowance I have here and I'll be doing the same thing to the other end of the band. So after sewing, you have to turn it like this, inwards, this way. So this is what you should have after sewing. So your band should look exactly like this on both ends. Now the waistband is ready. So the next thing to do is to fix the elastic band. I'm going to open up the waistband this way. So I already have my one inch marked here. So this is where I'm going to place the elastic band. So my dart line is here and I marked one inch away from the dart line. So I'm going to place it this way on the skirt band and not on the skirt. So it's going to be on the band this way and I'm going to close up like this. So I'm going to sew on it to secure it. So after running the first stitch, this is what I have here. So I'm going to run the next stitch. So I have my marking here, which is one inch before the dart. So I'm going to move the elastic band this way on the marking. And I'm going to close the band this way so I'll run a stitch here to secure it so once I'm done securing this I'll be repeating the same process to the other side of the skirt So the next thing to do is to close up the band. So I'm going to place it this way. So you're going to sew this way. Then when you get to where the elastic is, you're going to pull like this gently and continue sewing downwards. So when you get to this other end, you're also going to pull it like this. So you're just making sure you don't sew on the elastic band. So I'm done fixing the elastic band and this is how it looks like. So this is one side of it and this is the other side. So after doing this, you could go ahead to leave it this way and fix your zipper or you run a stitch on the elastic to secure it but I prefer running a stitch on the elastic to secure it so I'm just going to run a stitch so you're just going to pull it like this and you'll be running a stitch from the beginning of the elastic band to where it stops So after running the stitch across, this is how it looks like. So this method gives you more stability. So you see there sometimes you put on your um, skirt or trouser and you see that the elastic band flips. So by running a stitch on it, your elastic band will just remain the way it's supposed to be. So this is the process of fixing your two-sided elastic band. So once you're done, you go ahead and fix your zipper. So I hope this video was helpful to someone out there. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.